everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews. That means every book I review, I've already given it five stars. I've already given it the test and it passed. So that's what I like to do. And because, and I say this all the time because I get so many questions about it. Here we go. Today's book up on your screen. This Won't End Well by Camille Pagan. It just came out and I want to preface this with saying it's totally biased because I love her. I love all her books. I've interviewed her. I feel like we're friends. I feel like we're friends, Camille. And so it's biased. It's going to be because I know I'm going to love it. I don't even have to read it and I know I'm going to love it. I'm going to tell you why. First, I'm going to turn my phone off because for some reason I didn't do that. But I'm going to tell you five reasons why I loved this book. But first, up on your screen. 300 pages. I'm calling this humorous fiction because it is. That's why I'm calling it that. Amazon agrees with me too. I always love when they agree with me. Up on your screen. Let's take care of some things before we get into my reasons why. First of all, the Amazon blurb. An ingenuously witty novel about the risks and rewards of opening your life to new people by Amazon Chart's best-selling author Camille Pagan. Yes. And then Witty, wise, and of the moment, This Won't End Well is a story of unlikely friendships, calculated risks, and taking a stand, even when it's easier to maintain the status quo. This is by Christy Woodson Harvey, who I also love so much. Let's get down to it. Let's talk about why I love this book. And you know what? It's nighttime. I finished this book like about an hour ago. And you guys know, like, I need to do my reviews right away because I love talking about it. But I love the night glow. I really do. Everybody's like, you should get better lighting. Why? Why? They're just going to make me look older. I love this. It's kind, of, it's kind of like that moonlighting. You remember, and I'm dating myself, back in the 80s, that show Moonlighting with Sybil Shepherd, And all of her close-ups were like this. I get it. It makes me look like 10, 20 years younger. Let's go. Number one, Blake Union author again. Need I say more? Covers up on the screen. Great covers. Always, always amazing covers. And I love my Lake Union authors. And not only is she a Lake Union author, but she's also a tall poppy. She's like all wrapped up in one. She's like perfect. That's what I think. So that is my number one reason because you guys know Lake Union authors and tall poppy writers are like my favorite people. Number two, because the main character's name is Annie. Not only do I love her, but my baby daughter is named Annie. I loved it. I was like, when I opened it up and saw that that was the name, I'm like, yes, yes for an Annie. And she is an amazing Annie too. She had so many funny lines. This is what I love about Camille. She gives her main characters these like witty personalities where Sometimes you laugh out loud, but I, I do though. But I think other people don't, but I always laugh out loud. I always laugh while I'm reading these books, which brings me to number three, because Camille's books are always funny. Love them. Love that I laugh. I can read a serious like historical fiction, memoir, but to read a funny book and it's not obvious funny. It's like she makes her characters funny. I don't know. I don't know. That's that Camille. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> we have talked about this. So number four, because her books are not just funny, but they're about relationships. And this one, so many relationships. And I'm just going to lift off, list off a couple of them for you. We have her relationships with her friends, her relationship with her fiance, her relationship with her mother, which I love how she kind of snuck that in there. And let's see, her relationship with her neighbors. How about just random people, okay? Annie has issues with relationships. You have to know. That's all I'm going to say. But I love that because don't we all? Aren't relationships just difficult? Aren't they just annoyingly difficult? That's that's what I love. She She makes me learn, too, because at the end of the book, I was like, wow. I saw so much of myself in Annie. I always do with Camille's books. I always identify with her main characters. Number five, because it's Camille. Why am I reading it? Why do I love it? Because I love her. And I've already told you that, but that is number five because she's amazing. I look forward to her books. I think she's coming out with one a year because look, okay, up on your screen, 
We have in 2018, Woman Last Seen in Her 30s. Oh my gosh, that was, I love that book so much. And then last year, I'm fine and neither are you. I mean, come on, her titles. And then this year, this won't end well. So Camille, I can't wait till what you're doing now. I can't wait to read what you're writing right now because next year at this time, I'm gonna get to read another one. And that makes me so incredibly happy. You know, Camille, you're one of my favorite authors and I love you. I thought this was so, so well written. Keep at it, keep doing what you do. It's absolutely perfect. IndieBound and Amazon. And I don't know what else to say, guys. Go read it. Do you want a fun book in your life this week? This is the book for you. Until my next 